What's up everyone? I am Brad Pros with Chilies and Smoke. I'm partnered with Barbecue Guys to bring you an expert review on this huge pellet grill, the Rectech 1250. What's really interesting is Rectech is actually the brand of my first pellet smoker ever. I cooked on a smaller model, so I was really excited to put this larger one to the test, and I sure did. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is the bullhorns. I mean, that's like the design feature that really sets us apart. Really smooth, fun to grab. The lid is easy to open up. And this is a absolutely huge interior in here with the two shelves, a massive upgrade from their smaller models. Now one thing to notice when you open this up, we've got one long drip pan that goes the entire way. It's nice because it also kind of doubles as a deflector plate. There is a cast iron deflector plate right in the middle. Uh, however, this also really helps. Catches everything, it's super easy to clean and remove in one piece. Now having two shelves is really nice. What's also great is the fact that these do slide out, not just the top one, but also the bottom, which makes them easy to remove, easy to access food, obviously also easy to clean. Now over here is where it houses the controller, and this controller is pretty awesome. It does come with two meat probes, and then you can actually slide it right through here into the cooking chamber, plugged in so that you're not keeping the lid open. And it also doubles as a shelf, which is great. Uh, there's a front shelf on here as well, which you can easily just lower if you need to access this any closer or store it. It clicks right back up. Also stainless, very easy to clean. Uh, both of these surfaces, very helpful. The bottom frame is extremely sturdy. This does not wobble, and I love that it has locking casters as well. Over on the side here, we do have the smoke stack, which attaches right to the chamber. Uh, I've noticed while cooking this, the smoke is extremely clean. You can barely see it, which is exactly what you want when you're cooking with the pellet grill. Now, while I'm back here, let's talk about this hopper. So this is a massive 40 pound hopper meaning you can fit 40 pounds of pellets in here. It's gonna last you forever. If you're looking for a pellet grill that's just push and go, this is a great option. It literally is easy as just turning it on, turning it to the dial you need, and you can even monitor it on the Rectech mobile app. Well, I don't use the app for most of my cooks. I have used it. It's extremely easy to use, and it's also very highly rated in the community. This is really easy to use. You simply just have to push the button, it turns on, you adjust the dial, and it has a five degree temperature increment, which is unreal. Um, you can really hone in exactly to the precision that you want for your cooking. The temperature range also goes from as low as 180 degrees all the way up to 700 degrees. So you can smoke jerky low and slow or really crisp up a huge roast or steak. Overall, this is a great pellet grill. It's got so much retail space. This is a fantastic grill if you're looking for an option for meal prep or just to be able to cook for a huge group of people. I also do love that this model has the shelves, which not all of the models do, so this is a very big benefit if you're like me and you're doing a lot of prep. Now, a couple things to consider. I definitely recommend getting a cover. If you're like me and you've got dust or dirt or rain, you definitely want to cover this. It just makes it so much easier to maintain. Now, if you're going to set up the controller to the app, it needs to connect to your router first to sync up. Now, my house happens to have the router on the other side of my grill area, so that was a little tricky to get set up initially, but once it's synced, you're good to go. Now, overall, this is a fantastic grill. It has great temperature control, which is the most important thing for me. It puts out great flavor. It's so easy to use, and it has so much retail space. Definitely go check this out on barbecueguys.com, and let us know if you have any other questions about this smoker.